Our next speaker is going to shed a light on the importance of HBM in a new chemicals policy strategy for sustainability. He was one of the former presidents of the EU Council Working Group on International Environmental Policy, and three times in total he used to be the head of delegation in the field of chemicals policy when Austria held the EU Council presidency. And he's the Deputy Director General at the Austrian Environment Ministry, his main concerns being chemical policy and environmental technology. We are happy to have you with us today, even if it's remotely, Dr. Thomas Jackel. Yes, uh, welcome, uh, uh, Madam Moderator. I hope you can hear me clearly now. I did my very best yes. to stabilize uh, the line. Oh, great, it's good to hear. Uh, Madam Minister, Commissioner, Mr. President, Executive Director, Excellencies, distinguished guests to this important conference convened by the, the German Presidency of the European Union. At the outset, I would like to express my gratitude for being invited to deliver this statement, which, of course, I would have preferred to do in person. Strategic uh, political concepts uh, such as uh, zero pollution or non-toxic environment, and I'm echoing Hans Breinings here already, they do apply as much to people as to the environment. Just like our lakes or ambient air, the bodies of European citizens are contaminated by thousands of chemicals, and our citizens are extremely concerned by the presence of these chemicals in our food, in the environment, in consumer products. Moreover, citizens have the right to know what they are exposed to, what chemicals are in their bodies and how their health is affected. Understanding and uh, responding to citizens' concern, raising public awareness and making science accessible are core part of the Human Biomonitoring for Europe project. And I'm regarding these initiatives as a true masterpiece among all the projects performed under the Horizon 2020 program. And if I may report from yesterday's uh, governing board meetings, uh, I can say that we approved with a vast majority also uh, the report from uh, last year's work and also the work program for the coming years. And there was a broad consensus within the governing board that uh, uh, also, some work was impeded by the COVID crisis. We want to bring HBM for you to a, a proper end. We will cross every T, dot every I, and uh, pave uh, the way for the subsequent project, but uh, while at the same time bringing HBM for you, which is excellent on track, uh, to a successful ending. This project uh, bridges uh, science and policy while at the same time equipping the European Union's chemicals policy with both an effective tool of quality control as well as an intelligent early warning system. HBM for you tells us if risk management measures were set in, uh, set in place are doing their job and do effectively reduce the chemical burden. It tells us to adjust our instruments, to embrace new substances and recently detected toxicological effects, in particular to ensure a high level of protection of vulnerable groups such as workers or children. On its way to zero pollution, Europe is relying on a robust and sustained comprehensive human biomonitoring program to assess the risk of chemicals in the bodies of European citizens and to assess the associated health impacts. To keep pace with scientific developments, for example, mixotoxicity or ep epigenetics, as well as to keep pace with innovation in the field of advanced materials, further work should be based on a reliable and sustained foundation that can support efforts to tackle the complexity we face today. The European Commission and Member States recognize this urgent need for action 
and took the first step. We just learned about it in the previous presentation. Based on extensive preparatory work, a partnership under the Future EU Research Program Horizon Europe will institutionalize human biomonitoring as an instrument to support chemicals policies and provide a framework for the continuous development of methods for hazard and risk assessment. We can be glad to build upon experiences gained within HPM4U, which is so excellently coordinated by the German Umweltbundesamt. Within the Park Partnership, we will materialize the science policy interface. We will give this interface not only an abstract meeting, but an institutional embedding, which will be unique worldwide. And as uh, Minister Schulz just uh, uh, gave uh, an outlook to uh, the follow-up of the SICAM process, one of the main decisions to be taken there is also to build up a science policy interface on a global scale. And Europe is about to do just this with establishing the PARC partnership and its institutional arrangement. Under the Austrian EU presidency, the political discussion on the required change of paradigm in chemicals policy was initiated. And I'm more than grateful that the German presidency is maintaining the political momentum and accurately accompanies that process, which will come to an important milestone in these weeks. It is with great expectations that we are all looking at October 14th, when the European Commission will publish its strategy for stability in chemicals policy. The HPM4U Management Board, uh, it was uh, mentioned uh, already today, responded to the consultation of the Commission for Sustainability, which reflections on key directions on how human biomonitoring can contribute to the way forward. In particular, we fully support approaches to explicitly avoid the regrettable substitution, replacing a substance with a substance of unknown and potentially even worse hazard profile doesn't make sense. Chemical grouping offers a means for accelerating risk assessment and risk management in a context where risk management lags behind the rapid emergence of new chemicals. Also, the coin, uh, the approach coined under the slogan, one substance, one assessment, sounds promising, as it shall strive for avoiding multiplication of work and thus contribute to an efficient common approach. However, member states should by no means be limited in their rights and political needs to initiate EU-wide procedures for risk management. If, for instance, finding through human biomonitoring display a need for EU-wide actions, each member state must be in the position to launch a process to adequate measures such as restriction or authorization. Human biomonitoring is already today, so to say, the watchdog. No, let's, let's phrase it nicely in a positive way. It is the guardian angel for chemicals policy. And chemical policy itself stands at the very center of the Union's flagship initiatives with the framework of the Green Deal. We all together have to join hands to accomplish transition towards a circular economy. And it is beyond doubt that this giant undertaking desperately needs a wise and well-equipped guardian angel. With that, I'm looking forward to this day and this important conference. And thank you for your kind attention. Thank you.